Bonjour, Anine, greetings. My name is Mitch Huguenin. I'm a proud member of the Georgian Bay Métis community, and I'm one of the co-creators of Exercise and Physical Activity in Indigenous Health. As a visitor of Ngojwanong, the territory in which this recording is being made, I would like to begin by offering my gratitude to the Michisagig Anishinaabe for their care for and teachings about our earth and our relations. I would also like to express my deepest thanks to all Indigenous peoples for their ongoing stewardship and protection over the ancestral, traditional, treaty, and unceded lands on which we move and are active on. It is a pleasure to have the opportunity to share our story about the creation of our open educational resource, Exercise and Physical Activity in Indigenous Health. As you'll hear throughout our story, this project was a result of a holistic and collaborative effort of a remarkable group of diverse peoples from inception to the final resource. The idea began with recognizing the need for an open access educational resource that could begin to tell the story of physical activity, exercise and health in Indigenous communities in Canada. To our knowledge, no such resource existed prior to this. With funding from eCampus Ontario's virtual learning strategy, we hoped that our resource could be one small step toward decolonizing physical activity education in the Canadian post-secondary student community. It was important to us to ensure that the information presented in this resource was authentic and from an informed Indigenous point of view. It was my pleasure to take on the role of one of two subject matter experts for this resource. And we were extremely fortunate to have Dr. Roslyn Miles join our team as our other subject matter expert. Dr. Miles hails from the west coast of Canada and is a proud member of the Lighten First Nation. We embarked on this journey with a larger team of wonderful co-creators and began to work on building our resource. We carefully chose our words to reflect Indigenous ways of knowing and decided that the journey would follow four main areas referred to as bundles, much like traditional bundles of Indigenous teachings or sacred bundles which can include cultural items. We also use the term stepping stones for each of our subheadings as it is a term that is representative of Indigenous connections to nature and the land. We developed holistic learning objectives inspired by Medicine Wheel teachings about balance, holism, and personal growth. Holistic was intentionally spelled with a W instead of an H, which is meant to indicate an entire or whole way of learning and approach. The use of holistic also serves as an example of how we sought to indigenize and decolonize the language presented in this resource. It was important to our team that the information shared throughout our resource is focused on a strengths-based approach and not on a deficits-based approach to learning. In each stepping stone, we start with a warm-up activity, which is meant to reflect a literal warm-up completed before one engages in physical activity, a chance to prepare you mentally, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually for the learning journey that is to come. You will also encounter wellness breaks, which are designed to give you a moment to pause, reflect, and restore. And we conclude each stepping stone with a cool-down activity, a keen to a cool down following exercise or sport participation. This activity will allow you to reflect on your learning before continuing on your journey. We prioritized artistic details and how interacting with the resource would make people feel. Throughout the resource, you will see high quality, beautiful artwork created by Trent Indigenous student artists. Other areas of attention to detail include impactful, interactive content, and a color scheme that reflects being connected to the earth, ground, nature, and beyond. Finally, I really want to highlight something about this resource that can't be seen when interacting with it. What was so special about this project was the cohesiveness of our team. Our team includes individuals from many differing ancestries and includes those from different indigenous groups, as well as non-Indigenous allies with a common goal of advancing the knowledge of physical activity in Indigenous communities. Our team exemplified outstanding and meaningful collaboration from beginning to end. We are very proud of our creation. As well, we want to highlight that as the co-creators of this resource, we acknowledge that this product is a living resource. We acknowledge our limitations in creating this content and openly invite others from different Indigenous groups and communities with other Indigenous knowledges to add to this journey of learning. My name is Mitch Huguenin, 
and I warmly welcome you to check out our resource, Exercise and Physical Activity in Indigenous Health.